time you heard of this guy? Um, I heard of him a couple, of, I think about a year ago. He came by our gym. Um, did you, is it like, uh, spar with him at all? No, it was, yeah, I think he came by our gym and then uh, I was, he was there, but I, that one day I wasn't there and I guess he sparred with some of our younger guys and uh, with like Ryan and those guys and he came in and then that was about it. I, didn't, I don't know much about him. They just said, oh yeah, this, when when I found out about it, that was it. Now that you've done some research on him, um, where do you think he's the strongest? Well, obviously on his feet and then he, he likes being in distance. So yeah, he likes using his kicks. He's got some tricky kicks, especially coming up the front. So he likes keeping his distance and you know he he's just like very bouncy and uh likes throwing those front kicks those uh question mark kicks so he's pretty good with those but uh i'll have an answer for that by on september 6. do you think he's going to be nearly as effective um, dealing with your wrestling in round two and round three i don't think so i think the longer the fight goes the more it's going to benefit me it's just because it's gonna it there, there's there's a big difference in grappling conditioning. You know, when you get keep when you're constantly grappling, it makes a huge difference. It starts gassing on you, especially if you're just a he's a grappler too. I don't want to say he's not. He's got some takedowns and his sport they do takedowns too, but there's just it, we're just on different levels.